friends. Welcome to an early morning here in the Boo in the California Marine Lair. We're about to kick off shooting an episode of a car you may think we have already shot. You see, a couple of months ago, we fell in love with a stunning lady from Stuttgart. Well, she's back, kinda. 2015 Mercedes-Benz S65 Coupe. Now let's go over some of the highlights while we work on the full episode. Now normally with these preview films, we go right to the engine because that's how you and I roll. But here I feel it important that we let the color wash over us. Because if you saw our S63 film, you know A, what a killer is, and B, that is what a killer would drive. Especially, look at the chrome mesh grille and the emerald green, and that's all sandwiched in between the carbon fiber and chrome trim. I gotta say, I've been driving this thing for about a week now, and when you pull up to a light, especially one with pedestrian traffic, this car is absolutely mesmerizing, especially to non-car people. Now, let's talk about stuff that's mesmerizing to us car people, and that is the 12-cylinder engine. Now, I want to get this out of the way right at the top. Between the 3 and the 5, the 3 is the faster car, at least to 60. But that's not what this car is about. This. This is a 6-liter twin-turbo V12. Now, the numbers, <laughs> they're comical every time I say them. 621 horsepower. 700, let me repeat that, 738 pound-feet of torque. Now, in the full episode, you and I are going to cover this specific 12-cylinder engine, and you and I are going to talk about some of the unique natural traits of 12-cylinder engines, so make sure you come back for that. Now, as I put the hood down, take a look. Not exactly the most svelte Machen you have ever seen. Uh, and probably not the first car that would come to mind if you were going to say on a track day. But this specific one here, serial number ending 949, is fitted with carbon ceramic rotors. Um, they are optional. Oh, as an aside, this is fitted with five uh, standalone options. Let us know in the comments below if you want to play a round of the options game. I will say this all of the options are incredibly unique. Now, speaking of unique, let's press on to the interior. The interior, if you remember on the S63, is just out of this world. This, believe it or not, is even better. Uh, the color has a lot to do with it, but notice some of the trim pieces here, this piano black, not just run-of-the-mill piano black, but notice the inlay here. It picks up on the organic shape, the design of the interior, even little things like the door lock is artwork. There's an AMG logo on top of the door lock. Now, let's press on to the rear. Short of Rolls Royces, you and I never focus on the trunk or what's in the trunk. Here, let's just say there's something in there that you and I are gonna spend a lot of time on. Now, while we're back here, AMG performance exhaust. But I don't want you to focus on the performance exhaust, focus on this. I'm gonna play you a symphony. Now, notice, A, that sounds incredibly cool, and B, um, that is very unique. If you listen to a Mercedes, a Ferrari, I don't care what 12-cylinder engine, they all sound incredibly unique, and there is a specific reason why we're going to cover that in the full episode. Now, before I leave you, I want to leave you with a question in advance of the full episode. This, friends, is about the top of Macho Mountain when you're talking Mercedes-Benz AMG. Uh, but they also came out with the AMG GT. Both are limited production runs. They don't, just don't make a lot of them. But out of the two, the S65 and the AMG GT, which one has the smaller production number? Which one's gonna have, going to have the smaller production number? Let us know in the comments below or via our social media, Motoman TV, all one word, Motoman TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until the full episode, bis später. Now that's all fine and good, but we've already driven this car. Well, sorta. We drove the S63, and you and I went through the numbers on that already. Um, but really, the, the heart transplant here, it completely transforms the personality of this car.